What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another Pokemon Sun and Moon video. I don't know why I say it like that, but it just sounds cool. So, yeah, I know this video is technically scheduled for like, what, uh, Friday, I think? Friday or Wednesday, something like that. I should just never do scheduling. It just sucks. So, sorry this video is hella late. And also, sorry, I haven't done a lot of Pokemon videos lately because I've been trying to find a good format to do Pokemon videos. And I think I finally found one. So, you know, after this video, probably, I'm not gonna, no, no timetable. It's gonna be soon, no timetable within the like, next couple days. But uh, I'll be uh, I'll be doing a Pokemon, I'll be bringing back my metagame analysis series where I analyze Pokemon, do a new Pokemon and new old Pokes for the metagame. So, with that away, let's get on into the list. <laughs> Number eight, Drampa. All right, so Drampa is the, uh, the, the, the the grandpa dragon Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, man, like honestly, I don't know why I like this thing. It looks like Puff the Magic Dragon, the Pokemon. It just, it's just like that. And the fact that he just looks like an old dude, like, I'm telling you, if I want to watch the episode where they debuted Drampa on the show, his cry better sound like this. Drampa. It would be perfect. Like, it would be perfect. And just imagine, like, when he doesn't attack, it sounds kind of angry. It's like, Drampa, you know. But Dr Drampa is just awesome. <laughs> Number seven, Rowlet. All right, so I'm not completely enthused with the starters this go around, um, but I guess I, I mean grass is one of my favorite types, so I go with Rowlet. Uh, even though I think it does have like a 4x weakness to ice because it's grass flying, but uh, still, I mean it just looks kind of cool. It's got like a little bow tie and it's like a, it's just kind of interesting looking Pokemon. Not to mention the prospect of what it could evolve into. Hopefully it evolves into like a digger, a digger owl and not that weird like, well, the archer thing, the delete archer footage thing, not footage, but the delete archer evolution. Seems like it would be interesting, but I would much rather see a digger owl be like ground grass. But still, Rowlet, number seven. Kawaii. <laughs> Number six, Vicavolt. This thing looks freaking sick. Even though it looks like it's supposed to be like the front of um, the um, it's supposed to be the front of the uh, jumper cables, like the the, the clamp. Uh, that's what it looks it's supposed to look like. It also looks kind of like it could be a part of like um, Mega Rayquaza's head. <laughs> but yeah, Vicavolt looks freaking sweet though. And it's probably one of the first bug type Pokemon I have on the on my in-game team. Because usually what I do when I play Pokemon, bug, bug types don't usually make it to the in-game. Usually not. But this one maybe so, you never know. Alright, this is one of the newer ones, so it has a Japanese name, so it's gonna just bear with me here. Uh Shiro Disana. Shiro Disana. So, uh, basically the Sandcastle Mon. I know, people have been hating on this thing. They say this thing is stupid looking. I mean, it is kind of, but just just one picture right here. Yeah, it's killing a Pikachu. Like, it's not like Pikachu's not just trapped there. It has the cross eyes. Pikachu is dead. It's eating Pikachu. You know, and just the prospect. This thing could be an interesting gameplay dynamic, too. They'll say you just, because there's going to be a lot of beaches because it's an island area. So you're going to be walking along the beach and just, oh no, boom. It's, another, it's a random battle on the beach with the Sandcastle Mon, you know. And not to mention, gra uh, Ground Ghost is actually a pretty good typing, too, so. Kawaii. <laughs> Number four, Kamala. Okay, not that Kamala. But Kamala, the koala bear. I don't know why, I just 
find this thing adorable. And I don't like using words like adorable and cute, but I like this thing. It's freaking awesome. Not to mention its um, its ability has some pretty interesting, um, you know, like meta game type of uh, you know effects to it. Like it can only be put to sleep, so there's no poison, no burn, no paralyze, none of that stuff. Just sleep. That's all you can. That's all you can do to it. Which is interesting, and just imagine if this thing has something like Sleep Talk. So, I mean, which it kind of has to get. At least one of these two, we have to get either Sleep Talk or Snore. Because, I mean, this Pokemon's gimmick is based around sleep, so... It's got to get one of those two moves, if not both. And it's a normal type, so Snore will be Stab Damage. And, of course, Sleep Talk will get, allow you to use any of your moves in your repertoire when you're asleep. Both of these moves will be awesome. Maybe not at the same time, but definitely an awesome set for this Pokemon. <laughs> Number three, Dumb Shoes. Dumb Shoes, man. They're otherwise known as the Trump Pokemon, making Pokemon better, uh, great again. Uh, man. Dumb Shoes is just freaking cool, man. This dude is gonna he's gonna stalk you. And he's gonna he's gonna learn your patterns and your your, your track and how you go. He's gonna get on that path, wait for you to come up, and he's gonna jump you and eat your face. This thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> number two is Rock Rough. All right, so Dumb Shoes was almost, was almost number two. Except for one simple thing, the prospect of this thing evolving into a werewolf. A rock dark werewolf, which will get killed by fighting moves, but a werewolf, none the same. <laughs> and of course, number one, Salandit, otherwise known as Salan Lit. This Pokemon is freaking sweet. All right, a, a, a fire poison type. What? That's a sick type combo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, both of these typings aren't really defensive typings, and you will get murdered by Earthquake. But the fact is, it's a sick typing, though, and it has the ability Corrosion, which uh, basically allows it to poison other poison types and steel type Pokemon, which is freaking awesome. You know, you, know, you can poison a steel type. It's something you can never do. Because it's a steel type, you know, it's immune to poison. Nah, -uh, not anymore. With sand, with a uh, salon, uh, salon dit, it can freaking poison steel types. So no more, oh, no more switching Napoleon in. Oh, you gotta switch an Napoleon. Take this toxic, toxic nigga. You still caught it. Ah, so that's about it for this list. I hope you dug this list. It's a pretty quick thing. Um, you know, I hope you'd like it, you know, put your favorite Gen 7 pokes down below. Um, my next Pokemon video is going to be a metagame analysis video, so look out for that. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep it real.